I'm gonna clean up the piston that goes in there, the piston that goes in the right, as well as the bore for the right one. And then we'll change out the bleeder screw here. So we've got our piston. Gonna take our 600 grit, start with the 600. And um, we just wanna work our way around it. Try to knock out of this rust and junk off of here. Try, I put my thumb in, hold it, and then just work around in circles. that pit which is gonna bug me I don't know how else to get that clean um, some other pieces here I have to wipe it down with um, a rag which obviously is not working it's not bad uh, I think eventually I'm gonna replace these pistons but I want to be able to just Make sure this bike rides. I haven't even ridden it yet, so um, to get it working and hopefully stopping, we're gonna roll with these. All right, so now we're gonna take our 1500 grit sandpaper and just do the same thing. Kind of come in here and polish up. It looks pretty good, but it's still kind of uh, got a foggy surface to it. Which uh, once you do the 1500 grit, you'll see that kind of clear up a little bit. But same thing, come in and do a circular motion. Clean up this yet? I'll do the same thing. This is a 600. Try to do it circular as best you can. Kind of hard on the smaller surface. Another pit too. That's why it's not coming off. Can I see it catch there? <clears throat> but you can kind of see how it is. It's definitely a lot better than what it was. Not perfect, especially with these pits in here. But it's way better than what it was. I think it'll work out pretty good. Um, I'm gonna do the same thing to the left hand. Same process. Um, and I'm just going to uh, clean out this channel with the really quick and I'll move to the left. So now that we got the piston nice and shiny, we'll do the same thing to the caliper. You can see in there it's got that nice auburn or amber color in there and it's supposed to match the outside of this. So I'm going to spray some brake cleaner in there. I got a new piece of 600 grit. We're just going to do the same process, clean out in here as best we can. Um, hopefully return it to its former shiny glory. Um, also clean out the channel in here for which that um, the new version of the seal will go into.
I did you know, these have probably not been taken apart since the bike was new back in 1980, so it's only 40 years. Not a big deal, I guess. But, uh, so I'm gonna spray some brake cleaner in there and start roll that into there. It already looks better. It's hard to see in this type of lighting, but this was all that amber rust color and it's already looking so much better. So a couple spots will work on though. Pretty good. Don't want to scratch it. So now, um, it's really hard to see. But you can kind of see the lines in there. What that 1500 grit will do is just knock that down and give it a nice polished, smooth kind of finish. Or at least hopefully it will. If I don't screw it up. all that junk. That's not looking too bad. Gotta clean out the channel for the um, flap o-ring thing. And really I'm pretty happy with that. All right, for this inner ring, I have one of these small screwdrivers. And I just want to take that 600 grit. Let's see if I can't just stuff it in that spot. Scrape it all around. Be careful because your screwdriver will poke through. Kind of to do it gentle. little hook. Try to break up these deposits here. Corrosion. Apologize if you can't see. Try to get as much as I can. next is I'm gonna take this bleeder screw out replace it with one of these these speed bleeders this is a 1981 gold wing and if I can get it to focus here you can see the part number right here, yeah this part number right here the 8125L um, this is what was recommended from my bike so they are cars trucks motorcycles so um, we'll see See if I can do this one handed. Uh, I moved to the vise. Let's see if I can actually do it one handed. Oh, yeah. Okay. Sweet. I broke it free the other day. And then, uh, maybe that was a different one. I think that was the rear one I broke free. That's what it should look like. If you can kind of see the taper down at the bottom. Um, I put one of these in the rear caliper. Um, fit right in. It's got some Teflon or Loctite, I'm not sure, on there. You can kind of see. And get the rubber boot off of this one. Kind of see, hopefully see the comparison there. A little bit taller. Uh, thread length looks to be about the same. Um, and hose diameter is probably about the same too. So looks like a direct replacement. All right, so we got the caliper over here. I'm gonna take the rubber cap and put it back on. Hook it up to the top of it there and 
turn it as far as I can by hand. I don't want to strip it out. And then tighten her down. still goes over the top so looks pretty good all right so i have a new seal kit um this goes on the sliders on the bike oh there's also a brake bleeder cap in here too that i didn't realize was there but the other one's still pretty good so i'll just use that so comes with a new o-ring new boot to cover and then the spring that goes around the whole machine there. Uh, and like I said, two sliders for the caliper bolts on the bike. Uh, this is a K&L brand. Uh, that's the part number. 321156. Um, the only thing I noticed different, this is BCF 104. The one on the back was a little bit different. Um, so I'm actually not sure if that's the part number or if that BCF number is the part number. Yeah, the video I watched on how to do this was actually for an 82 and the brakes on mine were a little bit different. Um, so we have the piston, we have the seal that actually goes on the piston and uh, you can see right here there's this lip that goes into this channel. So once you get that seal on there, make sure it's sealed all the way around. Uh, and in that channel, nice and square, um, and you'll actually be able to see the end of the piston. Um, and this is the contact surface for your brake pads. So um, there's a um, a little piece like this. I'll show uh, when I put it together how that goes. That rests on the brake pad, and you can see the where the piston is hit before on the old one and that's hitting this surface here. So once you kind of get this on here like that, make sure it's down in, you can see the channel's not all the way down in there. So you want that, you wanna make sure that's all the way back down in. little bit of a gap maybe a quarter of an inch eighth inch maybe but you can see a bit of focus that it's in that channel there and all that does is slide in here and then you'll see this lip where this will cover all right so I'm gonna take your seal here and I've got a little bit of brake fluid here just, you don't need much. Make sure this is clean as I drop it on my dirty workbench here. Uh, just take a little bit of that brake fluid and lubricate the, the seal. And that will go right in here. Take my thumb, which I'll show you. Take my thumb, push it down at the bottom, and then just kind of work it around. And I'll just feed it in with my other thumb, make sure it doesn't twist. Um, it'll be snug, but it should snap in and not be twisted like it is right there. You can take one of those little hooks. If it is twisted and kind of push on it and right there, the lighting is bad, so sorry about that, but you can see that ring is now in here. It looks pretty good. Come in here. It's a tight fit. You want to go in as straight as you can.
bit too far. You want to make sure you can get this boot up over this lip so you don't want it to go down in. You want to just be able to push it gently. Well, that went pretty smoothly. I think that's good. So the, if you look inside here, it's probably only hitting about right here, the piston, because um, there's gonna be air that fills up with brake fluid to have constant pressure out. This spring looks like this when it's out. Um, and it goes in with this tab down like this. So here to here um, this one I didn't take out when I put this took this all apart but right here we have a rebuilt caliper I got uh, new brake pads as well they are MP 186 get rid of that glaring they're Caltrick brand I've never heard of that but what eBay had, so that's what we got. And then, much like your car, pop them in like this. But it's easier to put these on the bike first than put your caliper on, so we'll do that next. All right, almost forgot to put the ring on. So this will go all the way on the outside. There's that little lip in here, and this goes all the way around. So I slide it down in there. And then just make sure with my screwdriver here that it's all the way. Don't puncture the seal, but make sure it's all the way down. that but you can see it's all the way down as close to this here there's that little lip in there that that rests on so you have a teeny gap there quarter an inch eighth of an inch maybe and all the way around looks looks right Alright, so you can see the pads are here, and it doesn't look like they've been used very well for a long time. This is garbage. And they just slide out. There are metal sleeves there that will need lubricated. These pins aren't too bad, but I got new sleeves for these, so I'm going to go ahead and replace those too. All you do is just slide them off. Slide them on, hopefully. There we go. New ones. Bam. And add a little bit of disc caliper lube to them. This is a sliding item. You want to have it lubricated because as your brakes wear out, this is going to need to slide more and more. Um, put it on. You make sure it seals. There's a lip. There's a lip right here. You want to make sure that seals this piece grabs over top of that seals because if you get moisture in there then you're going to run into some issues down the road so this one is way worse you can tell hopefully that's focused it's all cracked so get a new one slide it 
slide this over. Now I don't know. The other one had that plastic sleeve on it. So I don't know if somebody tried to replace these or if this plastic sleeve just came off of this one. Seems like the right part. So I'm just gonna lubricate it. I'll have to do some more research on that. So I try to put the lubrication down towards the end because when you slide it in, it'll obviously work its way down. And again, make sure that's all sealed up in there. You don't want to get any of the, you don't want to get anything on your brake rotor, which this could probably stand to be replaced at some point. I do have new tires. Um, this one's cracked and just old. Um, so maybe I pull all that off, get these all nice and cleaned up. So you don't want to get any of that lubrication though on there. This is where your tabs for your brake sit. These also slide, so you want to lubricate those because as, as it's resting in there, it's doing this. When you when you apply the brakes, pinches like that. So you want to make sure that this is lubricated. Let's see here. So it's your caliper we just rebuilt, nice and ready to go. New bleeder. Um, this is for the banjo right here. This will come down in here. There's two washers, one on either side of the. It's called the banjo bolt. And these slide in like so, but it's easier if you place them on the bike first, slip this down over top. So this one was on the outside. I believe it doesn't matter which way these go. These both still all look the same. Yeah, I think these are the same. So you want to keep your surface clean on the brake pad and this is down again as I am getting ready to do this. As I talked about it, I probably should do it. Put some lubrication on there. Again, be careful not to get on your rotor. Fit like a Lego piece, it's really satisfying. All right, now your piston should be all the way back since we just rebuilt it. Um, if you're just doing this as a repair, then you might have to squeeze this back in. Um, I got a C clamp in an older, the old brake pad, and push it up. If I could get it, you push it up and then use a C clamp and squeeze this back in. But when you do that, you want to make sure you open up your master cylinder reservoir. That way, um, that pressure doesn't blow the top right off of it or crack it. Since this one's more of a sealed one. But this thing is good to go. Let's pop this puppy down here. These slide. This goes like that. Ooh, look at this. This piece goes right there. Some uh, assistance there. This grabs these two tabs, sit on top of your brake pad, and grab at the bottom, two at the top. There's an arrow on mine showing which way is forward. So, like so. Position. 
gonna get this started. I'm not gonna go all the way yet. I gotta get the bolts for that. Oops. These bolts are pretty good. These are 12 millimeter, so um, I took them off with a half and started around it a little bit. So just be careful that you use the, the proper one. Um, I went and got a 12 millimeter and that worked out way better because it's the right size. Imagine that. Always start these by hand because I don't want to ever risk stripping these out. you get like a quarter turn done you're good to go the threads are usually pretty seated but I'm always paranoid so I go hand tight and then tighten it down Torque specs. If I can find them, I'll put them in. This is a 14 millimeter. I gotta bleed the brakes and I'm gonna do it through this. Well, I can do it on this one, never On the other side, I'm gonna have to do it through the banjo bolt and uh, hopefully it'll work. I'm gonna go ahead and grab it. This one's a 14 millimeter. wisdom that was passed down to me that I wasn't following right there and that is uh, righty tighty lefty loosey that's a lot better this is what it should look like when you're done new boots up there you can tell you can see that they're sealed all the way back up here and they're brought tight against the caliper and the same for underneath here there you go. Now this one for the 81 is just a single piston. The, I think the newer ones, at least from what I've seen, have dual pistons in the front, maybe even in the back, but I think um, sometimes they're single in the back. I don't know that for a fact, so this is a little bit easier. So then the hose line's not too bad. Eventually I'll probably change those out. Um, but I put a new master cylinder on the top as well. And I've got to um, fill the reservoir and hope it works. Cause I, the original one I have to rebuild and I just haven't taken the time to do that. But, um, you know, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it works pretty well. So that's the right side. Tomorrow once that other one sets up, I'll put it on this side. 